Hi, I'm Teria. And I'm Brittany. And thank y'all for tuning in to my sister's channel. <laughs> hey y'all, thank y'all for tuning in to another video. I'm so excited about this video because I got my sister with me. Hi, I'm Brittany, Teria's sister. Yes, I got my sister with me, y'all. And this is going to be a get ready with us. We're going to be trying on some Fenty products. Me, I'm going to be trying on, um, not trying on, but putting on some Fenty products that I had in my other video. Along with some new products I got. My sister's going to be putting her products on on camera. And we're just going to get together, have fun, laugh, talk about it, give y'all some tips, tell y'all what we've been through with trying to get the foundation and um, pretty much all the products. So. Right. So we're talking about what we went through? No. <laughs> no, we Our already show did. About to spill the beans. We had the car. We just got our problem. We had to pull somebody wig off. We had to freaking roll up on we somebody. We had to rent the workers who gave my primer away to somebody else when I asked her for it. Tackle she gave it to people. somebody else. So, um, first thing we're going to use is you remember the what this called? Soft Matte Pro Filter. Yeah. Instant retouch primer. So. And then before, when I didn't on my other video, I didn't have the primer because I was trying to be um, on a budget, and it was sold out <laughs> whenever we went back a week later. <laughs> but so this is gonna be our first time trying it. Yeah. So this is gonna definitely be an initial review trying out this. Come on, you're coming out. You gotta do it a few times. Mona. <laughs> right. So I don't know how much I'm supposed to put. I saw reviews and they all just kind of put on however much. I think I put too much on. I really wish I didn't have that. I do like how it feels. A lot of the reviews said it feel like lotion. Did you see the reviews where it said that? It feel like a moisturizer. And we already did our eyebrows. That's why they on fleek at the beginning. So, you know. I don't wake up like this. I don't know about y'all. <laughs> this smells, smells it familiar. It does. It smell like the, smells the foundation. Mm. The foundation smells good too. And you just want to make sure, like we mentioned a second ago, you want to make sure you shake it really, really well. And I'm going to be using 390 again um, in this video. But um, I know I told y'all in my last video that I, my color really wasn't 390. It was just a, just a little hint darker than what um, my skin color is. So I went out and I got 370. And um, I did, I wore both of these the other day. I mixed them together and it came out to be my perfect color. So um, again, I wore a shirt that's kind of like open so y'all can like tell the difference. I'm gonna be mixing 370 and 390 together. And I'm gonna do two pumps of each to mix it with. So do you mix yours? Oh, you mix it before you put it on your beauty uh, blender? Mm-hmm, yeah. Oh. Okay, yeah, I do see Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and start. And it does look kind of funny when you first put it on, but they say it oxidizes. But you do notice that it does change uh, color. Now normally whenever I wear my Fenty, I usually uh, go over the liquid foundation with, because um, before I was purchasing MAC makeup, and so because I don't, because uh, I don't think Rihanna right now, unless you know something I don't know, <laughs> has a powder, <laughs> has a powder um, setting, a setting, setting powder to go Just over. Just that clear one that she has. I mean the white one that's like a um, blotting powder. So I use I go over my uh, makeup, my Fenty makeup with my Mac uh, setting powder. It looks a little orange. It did. I do notice that it looks orange. Like the 370 doesn't look as orange, but the um, like. Yeah, it did. It and I don't know if it's really just orangey or just really really golden. I can't really tell. So what we're both gonna use next is the matchsticks. You went back and got the medium mm -hmm. trio. Yep. Which ones you have? Truffle, rum, caramel. Yep. 
Okay, so we're going to use the matchsticks again. I wanted to come and so y'all can see the difference between my last video with me just using 390 and then this one, me using a mixture of 370 and 390 and then my sister doing completely 390. So if anybody that's watching this and you, between all of those foundations or if you're like before 370, you can notice that it's a little light for you or whatever. This is mixture, no mixture. <clears throat> in the matchsticks, I know y'all probably already seen me in my last video do this, but... We're just going to apply the caramel um, underneath our under eye and in all the places on our face where the light reflects off. So, just going to do that. And you want to be careful, I didn't mention this on my last video, but you want to be careful when you're using any kind of like dry stick foundation underneath your eye because um, I know me, I already have wrinkles under there. <laughs> right. But the more you pull and tug at it over time, it'll cause more wrinkles. So. And it do dry fast, so I sure do. <laughs> Which is a plus for me because I have really, really oily skin, so I really like all of this um, matte. the matte um, product. I go back in though, like with my um, the one that I use for my foundation, and I just go over like the harsh lines to blend it out so that it blends better so I'll be doing <laughs> like that but yeah I have another sister she's the oldest out of all of us so hopefully I can get her to come on and we do it a trio um <laughs> right but Make she's up. more into like natural stuff yeah. which i think she would like this product the fenty product line yeah i thought about how i could approach her to try to uh, talk her into trying it <laughs> <laughs> she should even like the primer mm -hmm. i think at this time i'm going to use my sasha buttercup to set underneath with and I really like setting this foundation even though you really don't have to and especially how it looks it doesn't look like you have to do it but for me it helps with the, I have really deep kind of wrinkles underneath my eyes and it helps keep it smooth and set throughout the day I've tried it without it and it didn't look like a huge difference but it kept me drier longer underneath my eyes and in my um, t-zone area to keep me from getting oily I'm gonna use my Ben Nye banana powder Oh, you need the dark for me. You? Hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> one more step. We got <laughs> before we put our powder on. Got to use truffle to we blend. Got to use truffle. <laughs> Did you see this there? <laughs> 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 like if I do it, I'm doing it right. Okay. I make a three because mm -hmm. um, like you make a three on the side of your face it helps like kind of just guide you with how to oh. um, a little trick that I heard Kim Kardashian say with contour sticks <laughs> and I have been doing it I don't know why I just did a Tiger stripes on the side, on this side. I love how this foundation kind of give you the foundation and the match sticks together. Kind of mm -hmm. make you seem like you have like a, a nice tan look. Like it really look like a layer of skin. It don't look like I have on foundation. Like exactly. how a lot of my other foundations look. And I started noticing, like I started watching like a lot of Rihanna stuff more just to see like if the product she just put out, if she really like wear her makeup like that. And when I look at a lot of her stuff, like she always have like these natural makeup looks and like the she only did, thing that really did, be did. dramatic on her is her eyes sometimes you know and so it's like it makes sense that she made she came in with the foundation first 
and made it make it look like it's really a, another layer of skin because this is how she wear her foundation usually most of the time now for the setting I'm gonna set underneath our eyes and actually I think I'm gonna use I think I'm gonna use a mixture of Sasha and um, Laura together because Sasha is kind of really really golden and because the foundation is already really golden I don't want to um, be too golden. I'm just going to use my simple big knife. <laughs> <Powder. laughs> just, ugh. Oh my gosh. Sometimes the setting part is the part I like the most. It just really makes everything look smooth and stay together the way it's supposed to. I don't know if I'm making sense, but to me, that's what, <laughs> that's what it looked like. Maybe I just don't know makeup that well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still new in the makeup game, by the way. Me so. too. <laughs> that's why you see me throughout the video. I keep looking at Terry to make sure I'm doing it right. <laughs> I'm still learning. Came a long way, but I'm still learning. Still got a long way to go. Just try, try, try again. Like, I'm not a professional. I know I say that in almost She's every last one of my videos. World. <laughs> but <laughs> I just love to just learn. Like, for so many years, I have just been, like, glued and addicted to watching how I can make my makeup look high-end because I'm all about saving a buck or two or three or four. And I'm always more satisfied when I do something versus when somebody else is doing something to my, <laughs> to me. So I just had to go and just learn how to do. You know what you're doing to your eyes yet? Nope. <laughs> <I never> do. <laughs> I think what I'm gonna do to my eyes is, um, oh, let me tell y'all some more stuff that I got. So the second trip I went to Sephora, not second trip, million trips later <laughs> to get the products that I wanted. I got the foundation, I told y'all the 370, then I got the primer, and then I also got the um, another kilowatt, because I know I had trophy wipe the first time. I wanted to try another one that I really, really wanted when I, that I um, didn't get the first time because I really wanted the trophy wipe. I think I just said that and I just repeated myself. But <laughs> um, I have the Fenty Beauty and it's the Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. And I really want to go back and collect a lot of her kilowatts because, and her, um, also her highlighter sticks. Let me see that one. Because, um, see that? Because I really like them for eyeshadow because it's so pigmented that it would look really cute as eyeshadow. So that's why I went back and got that one first before I went and got anything else. So I'm going to go in with Truffle. For like just a transition shade in my crease before I put the Ginger Binge in Moscow into my um, on my eyes because I'm gonna be using it for a um, shadow eyeshadow. And now I'm just freestyling because um, I'm like you know what I want to use mostly Fenty Beauty besides the setting powder so. I'm putting this truffle here because I can use that as a transition for my eye color. Just want to kind of blend it up a little bit. 
So I'm gonna let this dry a bit before I put everything else so that I can blend it good. Cause remember this dries to like a powder finish. So I'm trying to see which color. Actually, I know what color. I'm gonna put Ginger Binge, which is on this side here. Ginger Binge, Moscow Mule. Ginger Binge, I'm gonna put that also in my transition color. You on your eyebrows? No. Uh -uh. My eyebrows. What you putting on yours? You don't know? Oh, you just finishing? Yes, I'm just finishing that. So I'm gonna start on my eyelids. So these are the colors that my Morphe palette has in them. So I'm just going to look real quickly at what colors I want to go with. And which palette is that in case somebody has a palette and they want to recreate it? Morphe. On the back, there's a sticker right there. This is the 35OM palette. Yeah. From Morphe. With this light color right here. And I'm going to go in with Truffle and go in my underneath my lower lash line to darken it up a bit just like how I usually would do shadow okay so now I'm about to take Moscow Mule and just put it right here in the middle in the middle lid I mean on the top of the middle lid just right here in this area just to kind of just brighten it up I'm not going to bring it in the inner or the outer area just right here Ooh, that's so pigmented and gorgeous. That's so See pretty. that? Yes. Ooh. Yeah, I'm mm. definitely using this for a highlighter slash blush. And I'm going to use rum to highlight my nose with. But then I'm using this. Okay, I lied. I said I wasn't going to put it in the inner corner, but I am. It's too cute not to. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Take me now. <laughs> Fancy beauty. <laughs> yes. Alright, so the second color I went with is this color right here. I don't know if you can see that. But right here. And I just went over the um, middle of my eye lids. Then I'm going to take Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule again. And I'm going to use, going to take my blush brush, um, the Y4 by Morphe. And I'm just going to take, I'm going to take Ginger Binge and put it on as the as a blush. But when I do my eyeliner, sometimes I do the like a slight wing liner. But I only use I use like a liquid liner, which this is my Sephora um, color wink it felt liner, and it's waterproof. It's really really good. It's like a, it gives a bold black color, and then like it really is waterproof. Uh, I love this pencil, this liquid liner uh, felt tip. Um, and then so I use this for the wing liner and then I go in and I use a um, like a black uh, pencil uh, eyeliner as well I used to usually use both Fenty Beauty just makes me want to stay like with uh, just you know do something just average not average but just like natural like every time I wear it I never want to put lashes on because I just wanted to stay looking like it's my skin and I just popping off some mascara and walking out the door. <laughs> like I just love how I look. I'm gonna use the, what is it called? The L'Oreal Lash Paradise. The L'Oreal Lash Paradise uh, mascara. Remember in my last video I said whoever's sleeping on this mascara, she's still sleeping on it. But after she used it right now. Only because I keep, every time I go to the store to grab it, I always forget what the name of it is. No, so. <laughs> you're gonna be wanna make a trip right now to go pick it up. <laughs> yes. See? So it looks like this. Mm. Dang. Right. <laughs> Bomb dot freaking. Watch when you finish that eye. Look 
in the mirror at the difference in your other eyelash. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I'll put that okay. back. She's telling the truth. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> what I do. This is so are you going to make a trip and go off. get you some? <laughs> On the way home. <laughs> y'all, chill We're going to do a close-up in a minute so y'all can see. It makes you look like you have on natural false lashes. Like, exactly. If you're not for just a dramatic or even want to put lashes on, get some of this. And I'm telling you, like... I used to get the uh, eyelash extensions. And my eyelashes, used, my extensions used to look like this. Like, no, no joke. It really did. So what I'm going to do for my lips is I'm going to use Rebel Rose. I don't want to use... I'm going to be using this lip gloss. Don't get me wrong. I'm putting this on. But I want to just use Rebel Rose for just the inner part of my lips. Um, just to kind of make it look like a natural, like, pink, but glossy lip. I don't know. I don't just have this look in my head that I think it's going to look like this. And I hope it comes out like that. But when I use this liquid liner, I mean, when I use this liquid lipstick, I'm going to let it dry first before I put the lip gloss on. So, And I'm just going to be using the uh, Fenty Lip Balm. Lip. What is it called? Gloss bomb. Gloss bomb. And then also while my sister's doing um, her lipstick, um, another thing that I purchased from Fenty is the, um, I don't know if you have oily skin, anybody who has oily skin. I did hear Rihanna talk about how she has the oily skin, so that's one of the reasons why she came out with the, um, it's called the, um, what is it called? It's basically oil blotting sheets. And so um, she has this and then she has like a powder to uh, help uh, get rid of the oil yeah. but I usually don't like to go I've never tried her the Fenty powder uh, for the oil control but I know with other kind of other makeup uh, companies I tried their um, powder the oil powder oil control powder and I noticed that it did leave leave me a like a white residue or whatever so I didn't I mean I'm not saying that, that Fenty's I, I haven't tried it but I will one day but just to for now to stick to the uh, stay safe side I chose to go with the uh, oil blotting like sheets, the paper sheets. And so, how it is, she has this little compact, it has a little mirror on it. And then they have the refillable uh, paper rolls. And you put the paper rolls inside of this little um, compact case. And it has like the little uh, ridges, like here, like you know, like aluminum foil, they have the little ridges where it's like that on here to where you put the, the roll of paper, oil control paper in there close the um, the compact case and then you just tear the paper which not like this it's hard for me to do it with my arm stretched so let's see so you just pull it out however much you need close it it's usually not this difficult there we go all right and then you just tear however much I'm gonna use this much you just tear it and so, I don't really have much oil now, but maybe in like the next 15, 20 minutes I will. Um, so you just basically just put it on your skin. I usually smooth it over where I see oil. I smooth it over. And then I take it off. And then as you, like, as it takes oil, you'll notice the paper starts to get clear where the oil collected from your skin. And I don't, I mean, you don't rub it to your skin. I just usually just place it on there and then just rub the paper with one of my fingers keeping it in the same in the same place and it really really helps it really works you highlight your um brow bone i don't want to what do you usually do with i use my finger to just blend it in like this yeah, see how i make it pop out so you know how in the beginning, I don't know if y'all could tell on camera, but in the beginning I noticed this makeup looked kind of orange, but now I don't see that anymore. I don't know if it's because we contoured or, I don't yeah, know. And it's, it was still wet, like when it's still wet it looked like that, but I noticed too like on my bottle, like when it dry, it don't look like it that. Look see. So now my liquid lipstick from Wet n Wild is dry, the Rebel Rose is dry on my lips. So now I'm just going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Glass Bomb Lip Gloss. And it's the bomb. Dot. Dot com. Com. <laughs> slash. Bomb. Seriously. And it's it has this little like sparkly like glitter in it. And it's not like the big glitter. I know what some like glitter 
um, lip glosses or whatever. You can kind of, I don't know about everybody else, but I usually feel it when I put it on my lips. I usually feel my lips like tingling. This, you don't feel it. And when you really, really look real close in the mirror, you can actually see the sparkles in on your lips. Yeah. And it's so pretty. Very pretty. Especially and in the sun, too. And it lasts a long time not thick to where it's sticky it's very soft and um just buttery is the best way i can mm -hmm. i love it hmm. rihanna girl right thank you rihanna for thank the product you <laughs> And I love, like, even though it was kind of, like, crazy trying to go and get all, like, trying to get our color in the foundation, it felt good to know that there's so many freaking options. Even though the ones that we wanted were sold out at one point, it was just so good to just see another, like, to see a, to see a woman of color come out with foundations for all colors. Like, from exactly. the palest person to the freaking darkest person. Like, you have options. Right. Even though I'm mixing 390 and 370, I don't have to. I just want to because I feel like when I don't want a contour, I just want something to just be my exact skin tone. But with with 370, I can wear that by itself and just contour a lot deeper. And then with 390, like what I did in my last video, I just contour really light so that it won't. You can't tell that it's too much of a darker shade. But because I don't really want to contour as much, I can mix those two together. So you have options. I have like extremely oily skin, like really, really oily skin. And this makeup, like I don't have to be as um, worried about how my makeup looks. I'm always, you know, always carrying my mirror, mirror, trying to check to see, you know, my makeup separated because my skin is so oily. Like I really like this. It's a soft matte, um, and it's I really like it for someone who has oily skin. And I noticed too, like when I get oily in my T zone, I noticed that having this foundation on, it takes a lot longer for my oil to start seeping through this Fenty foundation, like a whole lot longer. Like I can go, I think the last time I wore this, I went like six hours without seeing any like oily um, areas on my skin. So, but then I'm sure it's because after that, it's like starting to wear off and then I'm, I'm not just sitting down, I'm actually moving around. So, right. But yeah. So we're gonna come and do some close-ups. We're just gonna move our mirror and stuff out of the way. I hope y'all like our look, um, yes. and I hope y'all enjoy my sister being on my channel. I know sometimes we kind of forget we was recording, but yeah. <laughs> this is how it is, and uh, right. <laughs> this is how it is. Okay. So um, yeah, so thank y'all for watching. Again, I'm gonna be doing more video. Get ready with me with both my sisters. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And go buy Fenty because you'll love it. Yes. <laughs> I hope this video helped you guys out. And One more thing. If you're not sure how it'll be on your skin, you can always just go and ask for samples. And then yes. wear it. See how Please. it is. And then maybe they can go and purchase it. That way you won't, you know, mm -hmm. spend money right up front. Definitely check out as many reviews as you want. Try on the product. Get samples. Do all of it before you spend your heart on working money and coin on the um, products. Alright, so I will see y'all in my next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> hey y'all, so I'm coming today. <laughs> <laughs> hey everyone, so. That sounds so big. <laughs> Put on some lip gloss or something. <laughs> 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 I'm serious. <laughs> I'm trying to save my lips. <laughs>